Hey guys, welcome to Dr. Monkey. Researchers are attempting to figure out what creates allergic responses as more individuals acquire allergies. Their aim is to discover better ways to treat and prevent such responses, which may be life-threatening in some cases. Allergies to bee stings, peanuts, and wasps are quite frequent. In addition, see our list of 10 weird and very surprising allergies. So let's go. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 10, Pollen Food Allergy Syndrome, Fruit Allergy. If you're one of the millions of people in the United States who suffers from pollen allergies, you could develop oral allergy syndrome. This allergy develops when someone who is sensitive to pollen eats a fruit that has the same protein as pollen, Ford says. Cross-reactivity between ragweed and bananas, grasses and tomatoes, and birch trees and apples, plums or peaches is known as cross-reactivity. Itchy tongue and throat as well as swelling of the lips are signs of such allergies. Number 9. Exercise-Induced Urticaria Sport Allergy Since the 1970s, only around 1,000 cases of this allergy have been documented in the medical literature. Exercise allergy can cause urticaria or hives in mild cases, but in more extreme situations, it can cause anaphylaxis, a life-threatening condition in which your blood pressure drops suddenly and you have trouble breathing. According to Ford, there are two types of exercise allergies. One type happens after consuming meals and within two hours of after exercising, whereas the other does not. You should stop exercising in either case, but you can avoid the food-related type by not eating before exercising. Treatment of anaphylaxis, a medical emergency, may require injections of the medical epinephrine. Number 8. Vibratory urticaria, lawnmower and motorcycle allergy. Coming into contact with something vibrating, a lawnmower, a motorbike, a mountain bike, can induce swelling, itching, headaches, and hazy vision in those who have vibratory urticaria. Fortunately, this allergy is so uncommon that the number of persons affected by it is unknown, according to the U.S. National Library of Medicine. Number 7. Nickel Contact Dermatitis, Coin and Phone Allergy If you get an allergic rash on your hands after touching coins, you may be suffering from another kind of contact dermatitis caused by a response to nickel, one of the metals used to make coins. Nickel is a silvery metal that is alloyed with other metals. It's present in coins, jewelry, zippers, eyeglass frames, and a variety of other goods, and if you're allergic to it, it can cause a rash everywhere nickel comes in contact with your skin. As with other allergens that cause contact dermatitis, avoiding the chemical, taking antihistamines after exposure, and maybe applying a topical steroid cream when a rash develops are the recommended treatments. Number 6. Dermographism – Human Touch Allergy Dermographism, which means skin writing, is also named because if you have this form of allergy, you may write your name on your skin with the pressure of your fingernail. Pressure on the skin creates an itching hive response. This urticaria rash can also be caused by wearing tight clothing or just toweling off after a hot shower. Dermographism affects around 4% of the population. The rash fades away on its own in approximately 15 to 30 minutes. Antihistamines can be used to relieve the itching. Number 5. Autoimmune Progesterone Dermatitis – Period Allergy It's very common for a woman's period to be accompanied by cramps, moodiness, and unpleasant bloating, making menstruation a feared experience. But for a few women, those few days per month are especially dreadful, since their autoimmune progesterone dermatitis APD produces rashes and inflammation beneath the skin. APD is clearly caused by an increase in the female hormone progesterone during the second part of menstruation, not by the period itself. Number 4. Aquagenic Urticaria – Water Allergy Aquagenic urticaria is a common disease in which itchy, unpleasant hives appear anytime the person comes into touch with water. These hives are caused by the body's most cell-producing histamine. The temperature of the water has little influence on the allergic reaction and there is no effective therapy. However, antipuritic lotions or creams can assist to relieve itching. Number 3. Solar urticaria – Sun Allergy Solar urticaria is another type of physical urticaria according to Ford. The symptoms are sun-induced hives. Antihistamines can be used to treat rashes and avoiding the sun can help prevent this reaction. Fortunately, sun allergy is quite uncommon. When this happens, 
Hive symptoms such as stinging and itching begin within 30 minutes of sun exposure and disappear within minutes of moving out of the sun. The response appears to be triggered by UV radiation. Antihistamines can reduce but not prevent allergic reactions. Number 2. Semen Allergy This is a really unusual form of allergy among women, says Ford. I've only seen that once in 30 years of practice. After sexual contact, symptoms include hives and inflammation in the vaginal region. To make the diagnosis, your doctor will perform a skin test. Although using a condom is the best therapy, women who wish to become pregnant can obtain allergy injections to address semen allergy. If it fails, artificial insemination is an alternative. Number 1. Pemphigoid Gestations – Pregnancy Allergy Pemphigoid Gestations PG, is an autoimmune skin disease that occurs during pregnancy. It generally starts abruptly around the second or third trimester of pregnancy, although it can start at any moment. The appearance of highly itchy red pimples and or blisters on the abdomen and trunk, which may spread to other regions of the body, is a common sign and symptom. Unrelenting itching pruritus, frequently hampers everyday tasks. Symptoms may lessen near the end of pregnancy, although flare-ups may occur during or immediately following delivery. Treatment may vary depending on the severity of the condition in each individual, and the risks and advantages of treatments must be evaluated for both the mother and the baby. PG generally resolves spontaneously on its own within a few weeks after birth. Thus, therapy may usually be tapered down and discontinued. So guys, that was it for this video. What do you think about our video? Let us know in the comments section below. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe now and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. And finally, thanks for watching.